Okay, tell me about your animal. It's a cheetah. Oh, wow. And what are you writing about the cheetah? Um, like I'm writing how fast it can run and how it lives its lifestyle. So why did you choose snakes? Because they're my favorite animal. And, um, and how come you snake, snakes are your favorite animal? Because they can come in different colors. So tell me, what, what are you writing about? Cats. And why did you choose to write about cats? Because they're interesting. Um, and tell me something interesting you've found out about cats. That cats can jump five times as their own height. What are you writing about? Turtles. And why did you choose turtles? Um, because they're very incredible of what they can do. Tell me, what's, what's your incredible animals? Tiger. Tigers? And why did you choose tigers? Because tigers are amazing praying animals. When I assigned the first assignment of, I did incredible animals, so it gave them um, the picture and then a story about the first incredible animal to start thinking about, and then the next assignment to um, dive deeper and then to go in and research on the internet. And where did you get that information from? www.500factsaboutcheetah. And where are you getting the information from? Um, those are fun facts. And where did you get the facts from? Google. And where did you get that information from? Um, I searched turtle facts on Google search. Where did you find that out? Um, interesting facts about cats. So where are you getting the information from about the Tasmanian tiger? Is there, there um, uh, the um, um, some websites and the rubrics and stuff? Tell me, what have you discovered that's incredible since you've been doing this piece of writing? Um, they can range from four inches to a thousand five hundred pounds. Wow, that's incredible. <clears throat> and where did you get that information from? Um, I searched turtle facts on Google search. I wanted um, her, Janet's eighth graders, to come over and to assist my students with the Scholar Program to aid in their writing. And once her students came over and showed them, they picked up on it right away. They just needed that one-on-one, -on -one, and that one-on-one -on -one help was tremendous. Technology just, I believe, helps with the writing process, being able to edit and revise instead of having, I mean, you'd still do drafts with your writing, but it's easier to revise than having those paper copies that you're handwriting over and over. They just uh, set it up for me and like um, told me how to like, um, uh, and told me to like write some uh, proper sen or type proper sentences and um, like uh, put a lot of description in it. Yeah, I like how it helps us learn and we get to do stuff on a computer. Yeah, how, how does it help you? Like, we get assignments and stuff, like how we write, we can just type. And I see you've got a picture. How did you, how did that get in there? Um, I saved it and I went to this and I went to browse files and uploaded it. Where did you go, where did you get the information from? Um, birdtricks.com. What's good about this kind of writing? It's more faster and you can look up how to um, more interesting facts on the computer. Great and tell me about this kind of writing, writing on a computer. What do you what do you think about it? It's way easier and it's way faster because if you mess up and you don't realize it you could go back instead of erasing everything. They enjoy the writing more. They're more engaged in their writing. Um, it's making it easier to do research. I can be anywhere, you know, I can, if I was absent, you know, I could have it pushed out at home. I'm very happy with Scholar and I'm glad that Janet introduced it to me. We um, talked about as a class um, how you write inside of a space for education purposes mm -hmm. and it was very interesting to, to hear them talk with their fourth graders about you know use proper spelling and, um, and grammar and you know make sure you have complete sentences and so it was really neat to see them teach them you know how you use a space appropriately for school. We're in the 21st century and this is what the students know so we need to be with the students and we have to give them learning that they're used to. 
Um, they don't want paper, pencil, books. This, they go home, they're on their computers and their tablets and their devices. And if we can teach them like this, they're going to retain it.